And again, remember, I am a goober. Obviously, almost cutting my thumb. So don't do what you see me do the right. This is a steel MS562 saw, and the clutch plate studs were ripped out. The back one, then the front one. The original studs were first tapped, and helicals were installed. Maintenance asked me to work on it as oversized studs would not fit due to the fact that it had already been repaired once. We are going to use a 1 half by 13 grade 8 bolt to repair. We'll have to use the lathe to cut the shank of the bolt down to thread for the clutch plate covered nut. The factory nut is almost stripped so I will have to chase the threads in it as well. I already repaired the back bolt before thinking about recording. Now I'm fixing the front one. I'm going to mark a drill so I don't go to drill the hole for tapping. I will use a 1 half by 13 tap loop with WD-40, which is great for a loop. When you are running a tap, most important part is getting it started straight. So look at the tap from multiple angles and check often when getting the first two to three threads. The next important thing is to break the chip as you tap. After one eighth to three quarter turn, back it up and you will feel the chip break. Now how far you turn before breaking the chip is always by feel. Unfortunately, you will break a tap or pull threads while you're lying. Very important to clean the tap regularly. If you don't, you will booger the threads and ruin whatever you attack. Bolt will bottom out against the saw not go all the way through the case wall. Going through the case wall doesn't really matter because there's no oil in a two-stroke motor. But you must be careful you don't go too far as you could cause the crank or something else inside to make contact with the bolt saw. Here I'm parting the bolt off reminiscing about fond memories of almost cutting my thumb off about 13 years ago. It was okay. Bone stop apart. Find it easy to brace the tool against the tool post when tapping. Clean everything thoroughly, then add red Loctite and install the bone. I used acetone, but use whatever will remove all oil and grease. It's very important that you get all the oil off. Oh, also, sorry, I forgot. Be sure to pull the plug and check for any contact with the bolt inside before using Loctite. And just like that, easy peasy, you're done. Please comment if you have any questions. Please like and subscribe. Hope to see you again. Have an awesome and blessed week.